In this video, I'm going to show you the most popular prescription drugs and natural supplements available for stress and anxiety, and how just a few of these supplements, when taken daily, can eliminate anxiety and a lot of the stress you experience from your life. Did you know that in the U.S. alone, over 40 million American adults experience anxiety on a daily basis? That's approximately 18% of the U.S. population. But what exactly is anxiety? Anxiety is defined as a generalized mood condition that can often occur without an identifiable trigger stimulus. For a lot of people, anxiety is a normal reaction to stress. It also is something that we've developed through evolution to help protect ourselves in situations of potential danger. Symptoms of anxiety include low self-esteem, sadness, poor concentration, low energy, loss of interest in activities that were once found pleasurable, panic, worry, excessive fear or dread, and disturbed sleep or lack of appetite. It's a problem that affects a lot of people, and it's not something to be embarrassed about. And if it's something that you feel is interfering with your daily life and causing pain to you or the people that are close to you, it may be something you want to look into. To find out if you have an anxiety disorder, let's go over the different types. The first type of anxiety disorder is called a panic disorder. The symptoms include sudden attacks of terror, usually accompanied by a pounding heart rate, sweatiness, weakness in the knees and legs, feeling faint, feeling dizzy, nauseous, chest pains, and sometimes a smothering sensation. During these attacks, people with a panic disorder may feel flush or chilled. Their hands may tingle or feel numb, similar to when your limbs fall asleep. You may also feel a sense of disconnect from reality, a fear of impending doom, or a fear of losing control. People having panic attacks think they're having a heart attack. One is often mistaken for the other. The next type of anxiety disorder is an obsessive compulsive disorder, also known as OCD. People suffering from OCD have persistent upsetting thoughts and obsessions. They use rituals and compulsions to provide solutions that distract them from their fears. As a result, the rituals end up controlling them. They perform their rituals over and over and interferes with their daily activities. They find these repetitions distressing but cannot function properly without doing them. For instance, with obsessive compulsive disorder, the person might be obsessed with germs or disease and as a result develop a compulsion to wash their hands over and over again or disinfect every time he or she touches something. If they obsess about burglars, they may lock and relock their doors many times, thus keeping them from sleeping at night. The next type of anxiety disorder is known as post-traumatic stress disorder or PTSD. This condition is caused by a traumatic experience including physical or psychological harm or the threat of harm. The person who has this condition may be the one who was harmed or a person who has witnessed a harmful event that may have occurred. Also known as social anxiety disorder. People with social phobia are excessively anxious and self-conscious. They develop an intense, unrelenting, and chronic fear of being judged by others. They deeply fear embarrassment. They worry endlessly and dread the present and future situations that may cause them to lose face. This fear may be so severe that it interferes with work, school, and other ordinary activities that may make it hard for them to meet, meet people and make friends. Specific phobias. People with specific phobias experience an intense irrational fear of something that poses little or no real threat. Some of these more common specific phobias are fear of heights, escalators, tunnels, dogs, highway driving, water, tight spaces, flying, spiders, and blood. Generalized anxiety disorders. People with generalized anxiety disorders go through the day filled with exaggerated worry and tension, even though there is little or nothing to provoke it. They anticipate disaster and are often overly concerned with health issues, money, family problems, or difficulties at work. Sometimes just the thought of getting through the day produces anxiety. So what do you do if you think you might have an anxiety disorder? First, you're going to want to go see your family doctor. He can help tell you whether your anxiety is caused by a temporary emotional stimulus, an anxiety disorder, a physical problem, or another medical condition. Get an expert evaluation. If you're diagnosed with an anxiety disorder, you should see a mental health professional. A psychiatrist should be able to identify which type of disorder or combination of disorders you might be experiencing. Psychotherapy can help. He can advise you what kind of treatment you need. Both of you can work together as a team to plan out your treatment and what actions you need to take in order to treat your anxiety disorder. And lastly, there's medication. Medication not just in the, in the sense of prescription medication, but also natural remedies that exist and have been proven effective to help with anxiety and stress. But before you take this step, 
here are some things you need to know about the kind of medication that is available and the health risks and side effects that each kind poses. Antidepressants are used to treat depression and anxiety disorders. These are prescribed for panic disorders, obsessive compulsive disorders, post-traumatic stress disorders, and social phobia. The side effects of SSRIs include slight nausea or jitters, sexual dysfunction, and sometimes weight gain. The second type of antidepressants is tricyclics. Tricyclics are, are prescribed for anxiety disorders other than obsessive compulsive disorder. They are typically started at a lower dose that is gradually increased as the body becomes more accustomed. Side effects include dizziness, drowsiness, dry mouth, weight gain, and sometimes sexual side effects. Popular tricyclics include tofranil and anaphranil. The third type of antidepressants is MAOIs, or monoamine oxidase inhibitors. They are the oldest class of antidepressants. Commonly prescribed MAOIs include Nardil, Parnate, and Marplan. These are often used to treat panic disorders and social phobias. When these drugs are taken, the patient typically cannot eat a variety of foods and beverages, including cheese and red wine, or take certain medications like birth control, pain relievers, and allergy medications, and some herbal supplements. And then there's anti-anxiety drugs. The first type of anti-anxiety drugs that we're going to discuss are known as benzodiazepines or benzos. They are potentially dangerous in that they can be habit forming and the patient may need higher and higher doses in order to get the same effect. Examples include Klonopin, Ativan which is given for panic disorder and Xanax which is helpful for both panic disorder and generalized anxiety disorder but also comes with a number of potentially dangerous side effects. Some of the people taking anti-anxiety drugs experience withdrawal symptoms if they stop taking benzos abruptly instead of tapering themselves off or checking themselves into a drug treatment facility, and anxiety can return once the medication is stopped. Busperone, also known as Busbar, is a newer anti-anxiety medication used to treat generalized anxiety disorders. Some effects include dizziness, headaches, and nausea. Busbar should be taken consistently for at least two weeks in order to see an effect. Beta blockers, such as Indurol, can prevent the physical symptoms that accompany social phobia or panic attacks. When a feared future situation is known or predicted, such as giving a speech or a public appearance or taking a flight, beta blockers can be given to help keep the anxiety under control. Now let's run through all the possible effects and health risks associated with these synthetic medications. The side effects of these drugs include nausea, anxiety, headaches, restlessness, drowsiness, diarrhea, dizziness, tremors, weight gain, decreased sex drive, constipation, fatigue, dry mouth, sweating, and many more. It's distressing to think that these medications that are supposed to solve your problems can actually make you feel worse or lead to a number of unwanted side effects. Throughout history, many different substances all over the world have been used to alleviate stress, anxiety, and depression. Modern scientific research and clinical studies have now revealed which of these substances are truly the most effective. And now, for the first time, you can find them all in one place. Sociotropin is a patent-pending blend of natural herbs, vitamins, amino acids which, that are scientifically and clinically proven to support healthy brain chemistry. Sociotropin corrects neurotransmitter imbalances and heals the body systems that impact social ability and psychological well-being. To do this, it utilizes adaptogenic herbs and botanicals that revitalize and heal the body's neurological system. Sociotropin works through a process known as neurotransmitter optimization. How neurotransmitter optimization works is it restores the balance of the body's critical neurotransmitters in the brain. This includes serotonin, dopamine, and norepinephrine. As a result, you feel happy, relaxed, calm, and anxiety-free. And best of all, it has absolutely no side effects. It's time to accept nothing less than the life you deserve. Take the first step today and go to sociotropin.com and see for yourself.